Hello everybody, it's Tina again from Hummingbird Tales. Um, I'm back with another share of, um, oh wow, look at this, I've just noticed that, <laughs> of some more entries to my challenge. Now, this arrived um, yesterday and this has come from Elizabeth Sargent and she lives all the way over in Canada. So I've just taken this out of the brown envelope. Um, She's put this beautiful applique butterfly on here. How lovely is that? So pretty. So let's get in. Try not to destroy the tissue paper if I can, because I got a bit carried away last week. Ah, so I'll pull it out. I'm not very delicate at the best of times, but... Uh, oh. There we go. Oh, look at this. Wow. So we've got this lovely little note. So I'll have a little quick read. I'll leave you with that. Oh, this girl's writing is beautiful. Oh, so dear Tina, these are my entries for your giveaway. Hope they are satisfactory. Just want to say I love your videos. They are so inspiring. You have such wonderful ideas. Always waiting for the next great video. Must say I love the bags. You are making how pretty. Thanks again. Stay well. Fingers crossed, Elizabeth. Oh, thank you so much, Elizabeth. And I love the way you've done that. That is just so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you don't mind me reading out people's little notes because if they've got any information about their channels or anything, I would like to share that with you. And I just want to share all the joy with you. So bless her. She sent me some beautiful napkins. Oh, look at these roses. Really pretty. And, oh, look at these. Now, these have got a black background. And that looks like a little hummingbird to me. Wow. And some bigger rose ones. Oh, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Really, really kind. As you know, in the UK, we're very limited on the actual type of napkins that we can get. And if I look at this here, she's used this napkin on the envelope. Oh, and look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> wow, you're all blowing me away. Absolutely blowing me away with your entries. So she's made this beautiful little envelope. Again, she obviously knows I love blue because she's got it running through here. And, of course, the blue butterfly. So she's got this little fairy dangle on the bulb pin and it's layered up with some beautiful blue, like, crocheted lace and some, it looks like some sort of linen underneath and then the cheesecloth with number 37. Wish I was 37. I had another 10 years. <laughs> And then on the back, she's done some collaging here. Now, this looks like fabric tape. Um, I think that might be Tim Holtz fabric tape. I'll turn it around this way as well. It's just... Oh, I, I am terrible. I start reading all the bits on the paper. So that's the envelope, sorry. And inside... Let's see if there's anything inside. Oh, yeah, look. She's got... Oh. The wild, oh, the wild rose fairy. Oh, that's lovely. And that is the song of the wild rose fairy on the back. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, thank you so much. I absolutely adore it. It's lush. It really is gorgeous. And her sewing. And I forgot to mention in the last video that the sewing that people are actually doing. Do you know, she's actually rusted this a bit as well. I can see on the little, sorry, on the ring there. It's so gorgeous. Oh, lovely. That is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And she's done a window envelope. And again, she's got some lovely lace here. A bit of um, well, written paper, you know, music paper. She's pulled this down and folded it. And on the back, excuse me, my tummy's rumbling. She's um, put this paper with a label and this is a fabulous pocket 
and a lovely, oh, this is the Stitchwort Fairy. And she's added cheesecloth. She's done all this collage work. Excuse me, she's got eyelash trim and this beautiful pale lemon seam binding. And then she's got the Stitchwort Fairy there. Wow. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so very much, Elizabeth. I absolutely adore all of that. And I'm going to keep your letter in here, or I might even put it, actually, I'll put it in here because I'm going to keep everybody's letters with their entries. And when I actually get around to deciding how I'm going to, you know, whether I make journals or some sort of special box or something to keep all of this in, um, I want to know who made what. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Thank you so much. And you decoupaged that beautifully. And she's done some stenciling here as well. Fabulous. So let's put Elizabeth in. Elizabeth is number four. So I really need to get like a bit of a board or something here. Oh, here we are. Look, I've got um one of these journal block things so number four Elizabeth Sergeant I think that's how you pronounce it Sergeant A E R T and if I put Canada okay and I spelt that wrong as well Canada for goodness sake Tina C A N A C A N A Oh, we know. Okay, so that's going in bunny. The back of the bunny with the rest. Okay, and I've got another one to share with you. Thank you so much again, Elizabeth. I really appreciate your hard work, the detail, the colours. Absolutely stunning, beautiful. And thank you for the napkins. Thank you, thank you. And I've got another one here. Now, this is arrived from Pat Page. And um, I've covered up the other side with her um, uh, address and everything on. And Pat lives in the UK. So, wow. Hi, Pat. Somebody in the UK. Lovely. So, let's open this. Oh, my giddy aunt. Pat. Wow. Okay, so I think that is her entry. So what have we got here? We've got a lovely card. I'll just snip that open. One thing I don't like doing is wrecking envelopes. Um, what are we like as junk journalers? You know, we'll save any bit of paper, any bit of envelope, any scrap of anything, won't we? And uh, we'll have a look at this. Oh, look, this is beautiful. Now, did you make this, Pat? Yes, she's signed the back. And this is a beautiful image that she's layered up on some black card with some little Diamante gems and the blue, the blue hydrangeas. Do you know, I used to call these granny flowers because my grandma and my granddad used to grow these in their garden all the time. And they just, for whatever reason, reminded me of granny flowers until... I went to college and studied floristry and, do you know, I used these in so many projects and uh, fell in love with them. They are amazing flowers. So thank you for that, Pat. Um, dear Tina, I hope the bits and bobs come in handy. Top for sharing great makes on YouTube. It is a pleasure watching you. Uh, Paperclip, wow, really pleased how it turned out. My first ever fabric one I've made. Oh, so she's actually written here about what she's got in here. Um, absolutely lovely. Happy crafting, Pat. Back to you. She hasn't got a YouTube channel. And she only puts her crafting makes in closed groups. So am I right, Pat, that you're a member of Artie Mays? Because if you are, anybody who's a member of Artie Mays, go on over there and you will see, um, excuse me, my tummy's rumbling terrible, Pat's work. And bless you, you've sent me some amazing bits and pieces here. It's very kind of you. Oh, now here, I haven't got any this size and look how tiny that little bag is. How cute is that? But these, um, look at those gems. 
so they look vintage like they've been a part of something really gorgeous size that thank you so much and um oh okay so we've got oh my goodness pat where did you get these amazing napkins and you've so kindly shared them with me oh that is beautiful oh thank you oh now i dearly love my stags and christmas is on its way thank you so much oh oh look at that that is the definite tina napkin with the bunny on oh bless you thank you and the birds oh look so pretty so pretty whoopsies butterflies yeah and these are good because you can put those those on any type of thing you know what i mean any color combination because of their a neutral i love the pinks and purples thank you and this beautiful summery one and i love this napkin i've used this in the past um i think it was on karen o'reilly's spring journal i made her but it, it's so beautiful and i am really glad to have it thank you so much and she's also sent me this braid. Isn't that a beautiful braid? That would be gorgeous on a spine or, you know, on a cover or even, or anything really. I could use that as a, you know, what they called a uh, bookmark. It's beautiful. Thank you. And just sending these plastic envelopes is brilliant. Somewhere to keep everything together. And look at this bag beautiful little bag and inside here oh wow now forget me nots are one of my favorite flowers forget me nots bluebells um are my favorite flowers and also i like nigella which is also known as love in the mist yes they are blue and the thing about these is they're so tiny and i get excited every spring oh thank you so much that's a unique, well, original um, postcard, that is. And that one, oh, you shouldn't have. That's lovely. Christmas one. Oh, that's so kind of you. Wishing you a happy Christmas. Good luck for 1912. Love. Oh, could be Larry, Gary, Sally. I don't know. I, wow. Hope House, and this is Rock of Ages. Nothing in my hand I bring, simply to the cross I cling. Naked come to thee for dress, helpless look to thee for grace. Foul I to the fountain fly, wash me, Saviour, or I die. Wow, that is beautiful. And what year is that? Is that one? Oh, I can't. It was to Taunton, was it? I know Taunton. That's in Somerset. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pat. That is so kind of you. Wow. They are absolutely stunning. And I will treasure them with everything else you've sent me. And in here, in this little pack, bless her. Oh, my gosh. It's so exciting. You know, I'd much rather open up parcels with people's homemade makes than anything else. Oh, look. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, look. Now, this is very wintry to me. And I've made several winter, winter journals. And, oh, these are fantastic bits of paper. That's actually been sewn into it. Do you know, I never thought of doing that. That's got change stitch. And then we've got a page from something called Cottage Book. And that's 1901. And look at this. This goldfinch. Oh, it's gorgeous. Thank you so much. And, oh, look, she's given me the cover and some pages from this book. Wow. My goodness me, that cover's amazing. Dr. Winifred G. Wright. Bless her. The wildflowers of South, Southern Africa. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you, Pat. Oh, look. I do love flowers. Absolutely love them. 
Oh, these are wonderful. Thank you and fantastic. Love, love, love. Oh, this is batch. Love, love, love. Anything to do with music paper. Toccata and or oh, in D minor, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank you so much. That is all so entirely kind of you. And then this is what she's made. She's made an um, altered an envelope. So let's get stuck into this. This is so cute. And I dearly love these. So she's done some decoupage. Um, I, she's painted on here. This could be gesso. It feels like gesso. Some stamping. And she's decoupaged these little bees. And there's a honeycomb in the background. It's so pretty. Absolutely beautiful. It feels lovely. And then inside, what's in here? Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, so she's made this tiny weeny little gorgeous tag in a little pocket. Oh my days, how cute is that? Oh, wow. Oh, this is fantastic. I love it. I might have to nick this idea from you. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, wow. Mixing nature with vintage. Absolutely perfect. That is fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. And wow. So this is the altered paper clip you were talking about in your letter. Uh, so she's really pleased with how this has turned out. This is her first ever fabric one made. Well, isn't it beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Colours are gorgeous. I love pink and black and grey. And, you know, the white. And she's put one of the gems here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And she's sewn it so beautifully. So neat. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Fantastic. So the small tag little pocket, that's from putting a leaf from the garden through my die cutting machine. Oh, is that how you printed that? So she's actually done this by putting a leaf through a die cutting machine. Wow, that is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Pat, thank you, thank you so much. I am absolutely thrilled with that that is amazing thank you thank you wow you should do more of those paper clips and more of those little tags and uh i'd love to know did you put ink in or did it just press into the machine and the envelope of course so as you can see we're getting quite a mix of entries and different ideas and i am absolutely thrilled 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 with anything that anybody is happy to send and um wow you know, please don't think, oh, this won't be good enough or someone's made such and such. It's not about that. I'm just going to put these back here for you to have another look at. Oh, actually, I'll leave it in there. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled. And I'm just going to put Pat into the competition. So I'm going to write it on your envelope. So your Pat. Um, where's your envelope? Sorry, Pat. Pat Page, and I'm going to put Devon on there so I remember, and you're number five. Devon, and you're going in, Bunny, like that, with the others are still in there. Wow, I'm sure you all agree that that is just another two fabulous makes from two wonderful design designers, artists, whatever you want to call these ladies. I'm thrilled. So thank you so much, everybody, for looking at these with me. Um, and uh, I will be back again shortly. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, bye for now. Bye.